Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon's Hot Tip. Today, uh, if you don't know me, I'm Sharon only from Vivid Days. I've got a art channel. Pop over and have a look if you've not already. If you enjoy it, maybe consider subscribing. Sharon's Hot Tips is purely about sharing some of my knowledge along the way with resin. And, and I wish I knew then, at the beginning of my journey, what I do now. And again, I am by no means the matter expert on all of resin out there. It's just my own personal experiences. And, and today is going to be about yellowing. Now, resin does yellow. <laughs> if you're unsure, do a resin piece. It's the decorating, the back garden. I'll be back. So if you're unsure what I mean and you want to see it for yourself, do a test piece, keep it in your drawer, keep it in your garden, come back and see it in 12 months, 24 months. Now what stops or diminishes the yellowing is the quality of your pigments that you add in there. So I always hold my breath when I see some amazing artists out there coming up with some amazing pieces of whether it be coasters or trays or they are covering some amazing oils or oil work or acrylic work with resin and it's clear. And the reason I hold my breath is I think, oh, it is going to yellow. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in 12 months to 24 months. So think about that when you're on selling it to your customers. Think about your brand. Think about what you want it to look like in a couple of years time. Now, if it's in direct sunlight, it's gonna yellow quicker different brands will yellow quicker some will say that it's got uv resin built um, uv built into it to protect it and i believe that it does and when you add pigments you can hardly see that but it will change slightly so please 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 consider when doing any clear pieces that it's going to yellow it looks stunning to start with it looks like glass but you don't want it to be yellow <laughs> um and i would just recommend exploring different brands there are amazing artists out there like um, artist all death um, and they do a lot of experiments and they share your knowledge with them and they work a lot with stone coat countertops and maybe um, different brands don't yellow as much but maybe do some research for me personally i will never cover my oil paintings or acrylic paintings with clear resin uh, because that is um something i don't find aesthetically pleasing and i want my oils and acrylic paintings to last forever uh, for years and uh, you paint a lot on those pigments i don't want it to uh, discolor from the top if i incorporate it in it and it's mixed media absolutely uh, i do that and i think that there is a place for clear coating certain artworks and it comes down to personal preference so again do your research find out what works for you i encourage you to put some clear resin in a drawer somewhere and then in your garden and see it and you will see what i mean i've gone back a couple of years later and thought, oh, i've had some pieces that have held up my original vase that i did that's clear that has got um pigments in there alcohol links it stayed as it is um, um, but it would just be my word of caution to you when using clear resin consider how if you're going to sell it how you're going to make your uh, customer aware or what lifespan are you sort of giving that color i've probably digressed a lot there anyway the main message is resin does yellow good pigments in there will discolor that whether it's out external or internal will speed up that process uh, and have some fun still enjoy those pieces um by no means am i saying you can't use clear but just take that into consideration and we have to be kind to our environment because resin is plastic and we want to make sure that people are not discarding stuff within a short space of time and we want any time we're using resin within our work to be able to stand the test of time anyway if you've had any brands that you find has worked exceptionally good with you uh, around this yellow, yellowing or information and you want to share that product please put it in the comments also if you've had problems with the yellowing itself um pop that in there as well because this is all about just sharing knowledge own experiences with the art community and hoping that people that are just new to resin understand what this could all mean um, in six to twelve months time also if you're going to, oh, we're on it, if you're going to use resin to cover any artwork and it's on a very thin piece of um, board, like canvas board, because it is plastic, it's going to warp it. And so think about how you're going to adhere it to a something else flat to stop it warping if it's not specifically made for uh, resin. 
Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Come back next week to hear another Sharon's hot tip uh, when it comes to resin and sharing my own experiences. Bye bye.